Okay, so I'm uh, I'm going to talk on influence of material characteristics on the kinetics of uh, sodium ion battery. The work was uh, carried out uh, with my students at uh, my earlier institute, that is College of Engineering, uh, Pune Technological University. So the outline of presentation is going to be like this. I'm going to go for introduction, objectives, literature review, some general discussion, results, and then conclusion. So we are aware of batteries, a group of uh, uh, some of the batteries I have described here. So we have batteries to store energy, lithium ion batteries you can see here. Then uh, another class which I am going to discuss today is sodium ion batteries and other type of batteries are lead acid batteries, sodium sulphide batteries, coin batteries and so on and so forth. When we uh, discuss sodium ion batteries, we can't complete it unless we discuss lithium. So these are some of the characteristics of lithium and sodium which I have compared here. Uh, with respect to energy density, lithium is far better than sodium. Cyclability, sodium is better than lithium. Voltage, uh, comparable. At temperature range, sodium is uh, uh, better than lithium. Safety part as well, sodium is better than lithium. In our work, we did sodium ion batteries uh, uh, study in two ways. Uh, the first one was the mathematical modeling in that we used molecular model, micro scale model, equivalent circuit model to study the kinetics of the reaction and they were then reported. And in selection of materials, we did selection of the electrode materials that is anode and cathode and electrolyte material and further reported into the results and then did the conclusion. To give the basic introduction of sodium ion batteries, they are far similar to the lithium ion cousins since they both store energy in a similar way. But uh, sodium ion bat based battery based devices are in principle more attractive because of the various advantages like sustainability of element, abundance of element, low cost material and safety. However, uh, Sodium ion batteries face some issues like intrinsic low energy density compared to lithium ion batteries and functional limitations like insufficient cycle stability, higher self discharge and low stability of electrolyte. Here the basic working of uh, NIB is uh, shown in which we can see the charging and discharging of the battery. Uh, the, uh, this is the um, animation and this is the schematic. Here we can see that the uh, sodium ion movement or transport of sodium ion is taking place across the uh, separator from cathode to anode or from anode to uh, cathode with respect to charging and discharging respectively. So here basically we want transport of sodium ions to be as smooth as possible so as to have more energy density. However, we can see uh, from the earlier figure that uh, this complete process is more dominant, more uh, controlled by diffusion and temperature. So one of the fact factor is temperature which is because of the heat so we can see that there are various uh, heats that are contributing in this complete process. Polarization heat because of the concentration gradient, then entropy heat which is the reversible one because of the um, change in the structure, then plastic deformation if this uh, concentration gradient um, leads to the uh, stress, equivalent stress more than the yield criteria of the material, then we will see plastic deformation heat and joule heat which is related to the resistance heating or ohmic heating because of the transport of charge carriers from one part of the battery to the another part. Side reactions heat, this includes the phase change or uh, uh, the heat which is associated with uh, mixing and all. 
So these are the side reaction heats, which are negligible in contribution, but yes, they do affect the performance of the battery. So as I have discussed, the heat and the diffusion, which are influenced by current and temperature. So these are the factors which were of paramount importance for NIB. So the objectives were framed to investigate the effect of temperature on the battery performance, to find the merit index for the best possible combination of cathode, anode and electrolyte for the NIB, to compare the performance of various NIB materials which are currently available uh, or research has been done on those type of uh, electrodes and uh, yeah, I have already told the best configuration. So these are the requirements as far as uh, NIP is concerned, efficient reducing agent, high columbic output, good conductivity, stable ease of fabrication and low cost for the anode material, uh, near about same characteristic for cathode but it should be efficient oxidizing agent, stable when in contact with the electrolyte and useful working voltage. Electrolyte has to have strong ionic conductivity, no electrical conductivity, non-reactivity with electrode materials and properties resistant to temperature fluctuations and low cost. Uh, these are some of the examples listed which we are going to discuss in the later part. So here uh, kinetics in uh, NIB is very important. We want the movement of uh, charge carriers or the diffusion of charge carriers so as to have uh, um, quick and more number of transports of charges from one region to another and for that we use three type of modeling, molecular modeling, micro scale modeling and equivalent circuit modeling to study the kinetics. Uh, these three models are uh, used for lithium and batteries and what we did was uh, to do this modeling we compiled all the uh, data which are available in research papers, various research papers related to sodium and batteries and by, we tried to apply these models of LIP onto the uh, sodium and battery. So uh, these models are very detailed, explained in various literatures. I am just giving the crux of it over here. Uh, it is uh, the first one is the molecular dynamics model which is based on the conduction mechanism and it is used to determine the diffusion coefficient capital D in an active material for anode and cathode to determine the conductivity or the exchange current density uh, that is ampere per centimeter square of an electrolyte. Uh, the micro scale model it is uh, only intrinsic property of individual phases and interfaces are concerned. So the external factors are neglected in this micro scale model. Modeling considers the diffusion, conduction and electrochemical kinetics of the electrode. Uh, this is the equivalent circuit model. Uh, so this is for the LIB which we used for NIB and it deals with the estimation of charging and discharging parameters of the battery so as to determine the cycles uh, or the life of the battery and uh, it prevents from overcharging and discharging. In this model, the electrochemical reaction taking place in the battery is represented in the form of equivalent circuit which is shown, one of it is shown over here. So the following assumptions were made uh, while applying all these various models. Uh, the concentration of <coughs> sodium ion was considered zero before sodiation. At the center of spherical electrode par particle, a symmetry boundary condition was used to ensure continuity. The current was assumed constant during sodiation and dependent on the rate of charging. The electrolyte was assumed to be perfectly conducting, thereby having zero resistance. And the other two heating sources require the concentration profile of sodium ions in the electrode. Volume averaging, uh, we can see the volume averaging and all hard, uh, all types of heat, that is polarization heat, uh, entropy heat, joules heat and plastic deformation heat averaged 
with respect to particle volume. So these are the parameters which uh, ensures the kinetics of a battery, diffusion coefficient, ionic conductivity and uh, theoretical capacity, electronic conductivity. Electronic conductivity that is intrinsic electronic conductivity of the electrode material. So uh, these were the various uh, compositions. So here this is sodium vanadium phosphate which is the main electrode material uh, right now practically available and in use in some of the applications. Uh, but this also is having some uh, out, uh, energy density issue, so uh, doping with respect to magnesium and zirconium uh, was carried out at, in various experiments and this is the diffusion coefficient profile. So if magnesium dop uh, doping is done, then magnesium 0.05 uh, gives you better result and if better result than the conventional NPP that is sodium vanadium phosphate and if zirconium is used, then it is far better than magnesium and uh, the composition has to be zirconium 0.1. Uh, this uh, is with respect to the theoretical capacity and uh, we can see that the theoretical capacity of uh, the uh, conventional sodium vanadium phosphate is much higher than the rest of the doped uh, battery material, cathode material. So uh, the heats are, uh, the all types of heat are represented in terms of uh, the index and these were the formula with the uh, conventional meanings used to do the calculations and these are the outputs, uh, these are, uh, the data was taken from various, uh, various references and that was reported here and used in that uh, formula. So as to determine the uh, material properties for various anodes and cathodes for NIV. They were compared with the various cathode and anode materials that are available for uh, lithium ion batteries as well. So the first one that is polarization index uh, which is uh, primary property that controls the polarization and uh, here we can see that the Na2, uh, this Na3V2PO3, that is sodium vanadium phosphate had the highest performance as compared to the other cathode materials. Uh, this is the comparison with respect to the uh, lithium ion batteries materials and it was found that uh, the uh, car uh, carbon anode may not work well for the lithium ion batteries but it has better performed for the sodium ion batteries. Then uh, next is the entropic index and it was found that sodium titanate uh, showed better entropic behavior compared to silicon uh, during sodiation and as compared to other anodic materials graphite has a very low entropic heat which makes it very excellent for anode. Again comparison with uh, lithium ion battery. So uh, although silicon is vastly used for lithium ion battery but it is not used for or not suitable for NIB uh, due to the low theoretical density in sodium. Then the next index is the Joule index and uh, the observation from the plot was made that the sodium manganese oxide generated the highest heat because of its highest re resistivity and uh, sodium cobalt oxide had the least resistive heat generation. But for uh, low joule heating purpose graphite was found to be the better option than all of this. Again comparison with lithium and batteries. And then clubbing all these index, we uh, determine the merit index which is uh, compared uh, with respect to the thermal diffusion, the higher right corner of the plot. So this is going to be the typical plot uh, with uh, lower heat generation uh, towards the, this 
side and a higher thermal diffusion towards the top. So this is going to be the typical representation of the Marriott index and uh, the lower left corner that means this region is going to determine the thermal instability and the material which stays over here will be thermally stable. So, uh, based on polarization, these are the classes of uh, cathode materials. Uh, so, we can see that again we have sodium vanadium phosphate clubbed in this region, the stable one, and the most unstable is sodium silicon based material. This is with respect to the entropic heating and then with respect to the Joule's heating. So here we can see that this is moderately stable when it comes to, when it comes to Joule heating. Uh, because the uh, radius of sodium is uh, on the higher side, so that's why resistance heating is contributing a lot over here. So the best cathode that was found, the perfect combination for NIB, the best cathode that is sodium vanadium phosphates, the best anode that is graphite and poor electrode for the NIB is the silicon which is good for the lithium ion batteries. So the full setup ideally should be cathode of uh, sodium vanadium phosphate, electrolyte of sodium salt NABF6 in D-line electrolyte and anode which is porous graphite film. We, uh, we want porous graphite film because uh, conventional graphite has a gap in between each of the sheet uh, far less in dimension as compared to the diameter of the sodium. So we need porous graphite this time for uh, sodium ion batteries. Uh, these are some more conclusions. Uh, that I have already discussed with various graphs as we proceed uh, proceeded uh, through this presentation. Uh, this, uh, this is the uh, chemical uh, method to be used in future to manufacture the best possible cathode, anode and electrolyte. So these are the flowcharts which are ready with us. Uh, these processes are scalable and uh, this is the next job to be done from us. So mathematical part is done, uh, the practical part has to start now. So this is for cathode, this is for anode and this is for the electrolyte. Uh, these are the references. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Thank Good, you. Good uh, Dr. Baisali. Thank you sir. Uh, uh, feature in the sense with respect to uh, the number of cycles uh, to be used, it is better than lithium ion battery. The electrolyte are far stable as far as uh, lithium, com when compared with lithium ion battery, and it is eco friendly. Uh, that is one important part because uh, now that we are uh, into manufacturing and using lithium ion battery, now we are facing a problem of recycling, reusing, re manufacturing. So, uh, we don't have uh, correct solutions for that, so it's better to shift the material. Yes. Yeah, this is just comment. Yes. You, see, you are saying lithium is toxic, right? It is well established that lithium may be toxic yeah. or something like that. But at the same time, with sodium you are using vanadium. So vanadium yes. is again toxic. Then. Yes, so uh, vanadium extraction is another uh, from recycling. So it, that it, is another it part. Gives you the aging effect and other things. Yes, so, sir, yes, sir, yes. Sir. That's why uh, now that doping is done. That is also uh, some of the research work that is going on in few labs to sh uh, to replace vanadium. Any but no, but till now uh, no success has been reported. No success has been reported for vanadium. Okay, thank you. Thank Dr. you. Thank you. Thank you. So